Welcome, I'm Bernadette Georgie, creator of the Just Be series. It is my pleasure to bring to you this unique workout. On your Just Be journey, through learning the beauty of the gentle movement of ballet, you will begin to feel improvement in your balance and posture, breath control and overall strength. You will feel taller and more graceful. You will see leaner, more toned arms and legs, a firmer rear and a long, lean waistline. Work out with us three times a week for 12 weeks with DVD 1. When you feel more comfortable, begin learning DVD 2. You will soon see the benefit of your discipline and promise to yourself to be a stronger, leaner you. Remember, whatever you can think or do or dream that you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Let's begin. This is an opportunity for you to learn some basic ballet moves. We're going to go over first the spine position. Notice that Barbara's neck is nice and long, tall, and just nice, relaxed position. Her chin is not up or down, it's just neutral. Her shoulders are touching down into her lats, so not rolling forward or back. She's not squeezing too far back because then that would cast her neck forward. Good. The next most important position is all through her core. She's lifted up, so you want to think about creating space between your rib cage and your hip. That'll make you feel taller. Tuck your, your belly button in toward your spine, and watch what happens when she tucks too hard. Her pelvis goes forward and her butt gets tucked under. We also don't want to go the other way and tilt back because then it creates too much of a curvature of the spine. So what she wants to do is pull up, draw her navel down towards her spine, tightening her abdominal area, and it also squeezing the buttocks and the thighs. And that's really difficult to achieve, so just be patient and take your time and just focus on pulling in. Another tip is to exhale as you pull in, and that you can feel the tightening right there. Next, we're gonna go into the hip area. So what you see here is when we talk about turnout, we talk about turning out from the hips, not just the legs. So Barbara, let's show them first position. And do you see how Barbara's legs turned out? So her inner thighs are coming together, she's squeezing from her buttocks, and she's turning her legs out. And this again gives you a long, lean, tight position. Her heels are together, toes are apart, her arms are soft, but she's disciplined to keep her arms in this position. This is first position. Let's show demi plie in first position, then we'll move on. She's pushing her knees out, and then squeezing as she comes up. Push down and come up. So all that we just reviewed is your foundation for the entire workout. But let me just give you a couple more positions that we'll be doing in both workouts. Point your toe and go into second position, please. Second position is almost like you would do a squat in a, in a regular workout, but her knees are turned out instead of front. So plie down and come up and plie down, and notice she's staying lifted and tall in her torso, shoulders are down even though her arms are working. That's second position. Let's go into fourth position, please. Fourth position, she still has her toes turned out, heels are in, but now her, her legs are closer together. When she pushes down, the knees go out over the toes, and she pulls up, pushing down, and pulling up. Now sometimes you feel like the focus may be on the front leg, but in this position, it's the back leg. Push down, it's a stretch through the hip, and pull up. Make sure this knee goes out over the toes. Push and pull up. This is probably one of the most difficult positions that you'll need to learn. Point your toe and go into fifth position, please. Fifth position is a little bit difficult to uh, achieve a perfect fifth position, but we're not after that. We're after really good form so that you can get the most out of your workout. She's heel toe, heel toe. Press and push down into demi plie and squeeze and come up. Demi plie and squeeze and come up. Very nice. So we went over the, the basic positions and we went over plie. Now let's go over tendu, please. So put, uh, put yourself in first position. Great. So tendu is just a pointing of the toe out front, and then we also go out to the side, and back, and side. Now what you want to put in your head as you're going through your tendu is you're pushing front and then pulling back. Show them again, please, Barbara. Push front and push back. Floor's a little sticky. Push front. There you go, and back. So you're pushing and pulling. So you're not just moving the leg. Your whole body is engaged as you're going through these workouts. Okay, now we're gonna do rond de jambe, which means to go around. So you're gonna go in your tendu position, pushing front, open out to second position, go out to the back. Now push through and come around. Beautiful, hold, and now we're gonna go to the back. Push back 
and come around. Push back, beautiful, and come around. So you can see she's working her hips. The standing leg is the working leg because you have to continue to pull up out of your hips and squeeze your buttocks hard. You can return to first position. Good. The next one we'd like to go over is grand plie. And let's show it in first, in first position and second position. In first position, you're going to start out in the demi plie. Now she's going to continue down, but she's not going to sit there and stay there. As soon as she goes down as far as she can, she's going to pull up and down to the demi plie. Go into grand plie, heels come up, pushing the heels back down in the ground and come up. So that you do that for first, fourth, and fifth. Second position, you keep the heels on the ground. So let's show us second position. And it's just a deeper demi plie. Think of it that way. Down and inhale, come up and down. And notice she's keeping her shoulders down, her abdominals are in, and her buttocks is nice and tight. Good. Plie and tendu. Beautiful. Now we're going to work on one more position. We're going to work on the passe, and it goes into a développé. And you don't need to remember that, but I do say that during the workout, and you kind of learn a little bit of French and ballet as we're going along. So the passe is when she pulls her foot up to her heel, and her knee is turned out. Beautiful. And again, that's working on hip strength, and that's also working on um, her abdominal and buttock strength. Now she's going to extend her leg out and hold. This is working your balance, holding your abdominals in. Now she's going to sweep the leg back and hold. Beautiful. And hold. This is not easy. And hold. And hold front and release and close. And Barbara, let's show them if they're just starting out how we would do it. We wouldn't bring the foot up off the floor. You would just passe in and go up, and then sweep back and hold, touch the ground, push through, hold and touch the ground, and push front. Good, close, and notice our arms are helping her with her balance. So these are the standing moves that I'd like you to learn and really perfect and come back often to review, and now we're gonna go and review some things on the mat. Well, now we're gonna review some of mat work. Barbara, I'd like you to roll back, and notice how she's rolling gently back onto the mat. That articulation is very important throughout your abdominal workout, is to be able to roll one vertebrae at a time down on the mat and to be able to come back up. Our first exercise is going to be the 100. It's a traditional Pilates workout, uh, first warm up for your abdominals. We do it a little bit differently so that we can have everyone participate in the 100. It can be kind of strenuous. Barbara's going to bring her feet a little bit closer to her buttocks. You can take a deep inhale, put your arms way over your head, sweep your arms around, there you go. And as she exhales, she's coming up and holding, and she's going to beat her arms. We're not going to do all 100. We're just going to show you the form. She's going to beat her arms as she inhales and exhales. Inhale for five, exhale for five. The beating of the arms is very vigorous because it's going to help you warm up, help you focus on your abdominals. Notice her head is relaxed. Her chin is in a tucked position, but not too tucked to her, to her chest. Beautiful. And hold, and exhale lower down. Very nice. And throughout the workout, we hug our knees to help relieve any tension that you might have created in your lower back and to give you a little bit of a rest. Good. The next exercise, and we do it in both workouts of different variations of the crunch, what she's going to do is lower her arms, take a deep inhale, sweep the arms behind the head, and engage the upper body. Now she's going to pull her knees in towards her chest without pulling on her head and then lowering down. Pull in. Beautiful, and lowering down. And when you get a little bit more efficient at this, what she's doing is she's pulling her hips up slightly and rolling down, pulling up, exhale, and lowering down. Beautiful. And we do a couple different variations of that exercise, but that is the basic move. The next one, Barbara, please pull your knees in towards your chest and extend your legs straight up in the air. You can move out of her way a little bit. She has very long legs. We're going to do the leg circles. So we're also going to work on the, the turnout that we worked on in the beginning. She's going to have her heels together, toes apart. She's going to part her legs and exhale, come around into a circle and inhale, come up. Open, exhale, and you want to think about your energy radiating from your center. It's not a leg exercise, it's abdominals first. Your legs just happen to be participating. You want to keep your shoulders down, neck is relaxed. She's actually engaging her entire body, your whole body is participating in this workout. So don't think that just because you're laying down, you're resting. You're pushing down on the mat. And come in, bend your knees, hug your knees and rest. And then we go into the other position. Let's just do the, um, the scissor walk. So place your hands down on the mat, extend your legs up in the air. This is very important to go over the form of this exercise because there's a tendency to arch the back. So lower one leg down slowly. Exhale, and inhale, come up. 
and exhale, lower down. Beautiful. And inhale, come up. I notice that she has fluid motion. She's not kicking the leg. It's slowly moving to the rhythm of her breath. Exhale and inhale, come up. Notice that she's pushing her back into the mat. You can just move your arms so they can see here. She has her back pressed against the mat. Her belly button feels heavy and it's pushing down. Very nice. Bend your knees into your chest. Now watch how Barbara is going to roll up. She's going to cross her knees and hug your knees into your chest and roll up. So she's gently rolling up. We'll show you one more. She's going to do the roll up position. So her feet are front. Good. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this exercise as well. In both of the workouts we have our arms extended. So extend your arms out. Now watch what she does with her spine. She's going to slowly roll down, exhaling. She, her shoulders are down. She's not engaging the shoulders. Hold and take a deep inhale and roll up. And exhale, lower down. <sighs> Contracting. And inhale, roll up. Now done properly, you're working your entire body. She's squeezing her glutes, her hamstrings, her quadriceps, and of course her core area, her abdominals. Beautiful. Pull up. Take a deep inhale, arms overhead. And exhale, lower your arms down. Great. They're the basics for your mat workout. I can't wait for you to get started. Welcome. I'm so glad you decided to join us today. Enjoy the beauty of each movement. Remember what you've learned and review often the tutorial section. And above all, keep the promise to yourself to be healthy, fit, and have fun. Let's go. Class is about to begin. Welcome to class and just be. Let's get started and warm up. Ready? Let's begin. shoulders down, reaching with the arms, pulling up, make sure your neck and shoulders are relaxed, three more, then pull up, out, and down, two more, and up, and out, and down, this is the last one, and up, out, now go to the side, reach, and pull up, and over, up, other side, shoulders. We'll start working through the plie and down and reach out and over. You want to take this nice and slowly. Make sure that you're breathing. We have four more. And up, over, and down. Reach and up, over. One more each side. And reach and up. Reach over, up. Last one. And reach side and make a big circle with our bodies. Let's begin. Reach and pull up, around and down. Good. Other side. Inhale, pull up, exhale and down. Reach up all the way around. You're still keeping your shoulders down, pushing your knees out over the toes and push. Now you're ready to begin our workout. We're starting with plies and releves. Let's begin. And plie and come up. Remember what you learned in your tutorial. You keep your shoulders down. Your chest is lifted. Abdominals are always in. Now you're going to roll up through the foot and down. Squeezing the inner thighs and down. You're still warming up a little bit. And two and one. Good. Plie. Tondu the leg out to second position. And let's go through that again. Plie. And up. And up. And open. And down. Good. Releve. You're rolling through the foot. You're pushing the heel high up. And three. Two. You're even working your calves on this exercise. And plie. Tandu hold. And fourth position. Up through the foot and down. Up and down. Keeping your abdominals in. Shoulders down. Two more. Up and up. Good. 
plie, point the toe or tendu, and close. One more time, plie, and up. Pull all the way up, and open, and down. Good, now squeeze the legs, roll up, and down. Pulling up through the thighs, squeezing your butt hard. Two more, and roll up. Last one, up. Now plie, tendu the back leg to the side, and place it in the front. Fourth position again on the side, and plie, and shoulders are down, chest is lifted, don't forget to breathe, and down. Hold, and roll up, working on your balance, squeezing your abdominals, that's what will help your balance. Two more, up, and up, good. Plie, point the toe or tendu, and close, and plie, and pull up. You should be feeling really warm now. You should feel it in your thighs. Good, and hold, roll up, and down. Think about those inner thighs squeezing together. Three, and two, and one. Good, plie, front leg tendus out to the side, and first position. Now we're gonna do a plie with a tendu. Ready, right side only. Plie, tendu, hold. Plie, and side. Plie, and back, and side. You have four more sets. Front, and side. Reach back, and side. And front, and side. Pull back. You have two more sets. Shoulders are down. Chest is lifted. You're pushing something heavy away from the body. Last time through, side, back, and side. Hold, tendu the leg out to the side, two grand plies, and down, two, three, up. This is your rest, and down. You won't think so towards the end of the workout, but you rest now. Plie, tendu, hold, and close. We're gonna go to the other side. Don't forget to keep your abdominals in, shoulders down. Let's begin, plie front, and side, and back, and side, again, front, and side, and back, and side, three more sets, front, and side, and back, two more sets, you're doing it, good, one, and out, and back, last time through, push front, and side, and back, side finish nice we're to tendu again two grand plies down and pull up and down just think how great your thighs are going to look this summer plie tendu and close ronde jambe is next let's prepare plie pull up pull back push through one and two three Stretching the hip, pointing the toe, you're pushing something heavy in front of the body. Three, and two. Now hold, you're gonna to go to the back. Push back, and open up. One, and two. Don't forget, the standing leg is your working leg. Pull up out of that leg. Three, and two, and one. Hold, come together. Tendu the leg out to the side, and two more grand plies. Down, two, three, and pull up. Still keep that chest lifted, don't dip forward. Think of your back going against the wall. Down, and pull up. Very nice, we're gonna go to the other side. Prepare, tendu front, open up to the side, back, push through one. Good. Now it's a little hard to keep your abdominals in and your shoulders down in this part, but you can do it. Pull your abdominals in. You're pushing your heel down through first position. Four more, and one, and two. Keep your shoulders down, three, four, hold. Now push that leg back and open up. One, and two, three. Four, you have five more, back and around, back and around, three, and two, and one, hold, good, grand plie again, 
and down, two, three, pull up. Make sure you're breathing, and down, two, three, pull up, and plie, tendu, and close. This next one's a little bit more challenging. Hands on the waist. We're gonna alternate grand battement on both sides, front and on the front, to the side, and to the back. Roll your shoulders back, chest is lifted. Let's begin. Tandu, lift, lift, other side. Tandu, lift, lift. Now you wanna think about that lift coming from your abdominals, keeping your chest lifted and shoulders down. Good, you should start to feel that burn in your thighs. You're shifting your weight, working on your balance. And up, pull up. That pull comes from your abs and pull, good. Up and up and up and up. Don't rush that tendu. Lift and lift, good. You have four more. And tendu, lift, pull and close. Lift, lift and close. Up, up and close. Last one, bet you're looking forward to those grand plies now. And close, plie, tendu out to the side, two grand plies. Pull up, let this be a restoration of breathing. Down and pull up and plie, tendu. Now we're gonna do just to the one side. Put your hands on your waist. Make sure the heel is going towards the ceiling, turning out that leg. Let's begin, tendu, lift, lift, close. Tendu, lift, lift, and close. Think of that leg being light, not heavy. Pull, pull close, lift, lift, you have five more, one, lift, and close, think of that leg being light, not heavy, three, where's it coming from, your abs, and five, beautiful, plie, tendu your leg out to the side, two more grand plies, down, and pull up, and down, Tendu and close. You should really feel those legs working again. Putting your hands on your waist. We're going to go to the other side. Shoulders are down, chest is lifted, heel is turned up towards the ceiling. Let's begin. Tendu, lift, lift, close. Up, up. Where is that lift coming from? It's coming from your abs. Shoulders are down. Up, up. Think about your energy radiating from your center and going down to your toes. Up, up down, up, up, three more, up, up, and down, up, up, last one, up, up, and close, good, you know what's coming next, two grand plies, down, two, three, up, and down, two, three, pull up, plie, tendu, and close, we're going to go to the back, we're alternating, don't worry about how high up your leg goes. Place the hands on the waist again. Just remember, good form, shoulders are down, abs are in. Let's begin. Tendu, lift, lift, close. Lift, lift, and close. Don't cast your body forward. Think of your chest lifted. Think nice and tall. Think about lots of space from your rib cage and your hips. That should give you about an inch. And lift, lift, and close, and lift, and close, point those toes, good. You have one more set. And up, up, down, up, up, and down. Really feel that in your buttocks, feel that in your hamstrings, You're even getting a good stretch in your quadriceps and your hips. You have one more each side. Lift, lift, and close, lift, lift, and close. Tendu out to the side, and down, and pull up. You having fun, girls? And down, I don't know, they don't sound like they're having fun. Plie, tendu, and close. Good, our brise is next, it's a nice stretch. Portebra, your arms up, and down. Ready, front, and open. Lift the leg up, and push back, and front, nice and slow back and front and three 
Don't worry about how high up you're going. You're working on your balance. Five, and six, seven, and eight, and nine, ten. Hold, lower down, and close. We're gonna go right to the other side. Ready, and front, lift up, hold, and back, and front. One, and front, squeeze back. And two, three, four, five. Good, you have five more. Pull, lift up, two, one. Hold, down, and close. Good, let's do two grand plies out to the side. And down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, three, pull up. Beautiful, plie, tendu hold, and close. We're gonna go get our weights now. Well, we have our weights, but you don't need weights. You can use a dumbbell or you can use a softball, anything you have at home that gives you resistance. Are you ready, girls? Let's begin. Front. Still working on that plie, which is the foundation of your workout. Reaching out to the side. You don't want to do any movements that are too fast and sudden. Very slow, graceful movements working through all of your muscles. You can work up to heavier weights. We're using two pound weights. You can work up to three. I wouldn't go higher than five. It's too tough on the shoulders. You have one more. And out. And front. Good. Come back. We're gonna do bicep curl with a reach. Ready, and bicep curl. Reach over, in, other side, and in. Push over, in, and down, good. You're reaching up, you're working your waist, working your side, even working a little bit of your back and your shoulders. Really pumping that bicep, and over, in, and down. Don't pop out of your plie, you're still pushing. You have two more, in and over, in. Last one, in, over, in, and down. Good, you're gonna bring your toes in, wiggle in just a tiny bit. Hand on the waist, we're gonna bicep curl again, only now we're doing more of a squat with a push. And in, push straight up, in. Stay on this side, pushing through your heels, in and down, in. Now push up. Good, always stretching, thinking long, lean muscles. You have five more. In, push up, in. Shoulders are still down. Up, in, you have three more. In and up, in. Two more, in and up. Good, working those biceps. Last one, and up, in and down. Good, switch sides, make sure your shoulders are back. Pushing through the heels, let's begin. In, push up, in, down, in, and up, in, good, in, up. You're still working on your core, so you wanna keep those abs in. Good, pull and up. You have four more, in and up, in and down, three more. Hopefully those girls don't look like they're gonna throw those balls at me. They better be smiling back there, having a good time. Two more, in and up, in and down. Last one, in, up, in. You did it, good job. Next one, we're working the triceps and the hamstrings. Leg goes back, hand on the waist, arm up. Keep the elbow by the ear. Let's begin. Down, push up, one, down, Go as low as you can go. If you have problems with your knees, just bend slightly. You don't have to go all the way down. You can work up to going all the way down and up. Four more, down, push up. One, and two, three, four. Hold, return, hand on the waist, leg back, other side. Ready, down, push up one. And two, don't swing the weight, you're pushing it. And four, squeezing, you're 
pushing through the heels, four more, and one, two, three, and four. Good. Return. Roll those shoulders back. We're going to do a stretch. Take a deep inhale and exhale, lower your body down. This should feel really good on your back after those last couple exercises. Hang your head. Restore your breathing. Bend your knees. Slowly roll up with your ball or your weight. You may choose not to use the weight at this time. Good. Your feet are together. In ballet, this is called an arabesque, or it's also sometimes called the warrior in, pal in Pilates or yoga. We're going to do five each side. Ready? Let's begin. Out, two, three. Hold, two, three. Release, two, three. Two, two, three. Hold, two, three. Release, two, three. Three, two, three. Hold, two, three. Release, two, three, four, two, three. Hold and release. We're going to hold this last one. Are you ready? Take a deep inhale and exhale. Here we go. Inhale and exhale. Go over. Two, three, four. Hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Beautiful, you did it. Let's do another stretch. Roll your shoulders back, take a deep inhale, and exhale, go over. You should be able to deepen your stretch, bend your knees, and slowly roll up. Roll your shoulders back. Good, we're gonna go to the other side. Don't forget, your balance is coming from the center, reaching out. Take a deep inhale, and exhale. Ready, inhale, and exhale, go over. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, release. Two, three, beautiful, push out. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, release. Good, and again, reach. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, come back. Good, you're pushing that ball out and out. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, release. You have one more. And reach. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, release. Think about what you're gonna do. You're gonna hold this one for 10. You can do it. Roll your shoulders back. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, go over. Two, three, four, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Deep inhale, exhale, shoulders back and roll down. Bend your knees and slowly roll up. And roll your shoulders back. Congratulations, you did it. Now we're ready for mat work. Now that we're on the mat, we're gonna really focus on your core. Let's begin. Let's roll back. Good, feel your spine on the mat. Make sure your shoulders are down. Pushing your mat into the floor. Sweep the arms around with a big inhale. And exhale, push forward. Let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. In, good. And out. And in and out. You're warming up your abdominals. In and out. Relax your neck and shoulders. Good. You have one more set. In and out. You want to tighten your abs, squeezing your buttocks hard. You can even feel this in your hamstrings. And in and out. And in, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Almost there. Inhale and exhale, hold. Inhale, pull your knees into your chest and exhale, lower your body down. Good, that was tough, but I'm sure you felt that burn in your abdominals. You wanna grab the ball or your weight if you're gonna use one and pull your arms over your head. 
Extend the legs straight up in the air and engage the upper body and hold. Let's begin. Lower down and lift up one. Lower down, fluid motion, pull up two. Don't engage your shoulders or your neck. Pull up three. If you need a little bit of help, you can put your hand behind your head. Down, pull up four. The most important part is the squeeze in your inner thighs and your abdominals. You have five more. Down, pull up one. Down, pull up two. You're doing great, you're doing it. Down, pull up three. Think nice and long. And four, you have one more. Feeling that burn and hold. Beautiful, pull your knees into your chest and lower your body down. That was great. You're gonna put the ball or your weight between your knees, and again, this is optional. Lower your hands down to the mat. Take a deep inhale, sweep the arms around and engage the upper body. We're gonna do a small crunch, pulling the ball into the chest. Keep the neck and chin soft. Ready, and pull in and lower down. You're not pulling on your neck, you're just contracting in. Pull in three and release. And four, nice and slow. You're rolling through the abdominals. Contract in and release. You have five more, one and release. Pull in two, that's it, three, and four, and five, hold, good. Hug your knees and lower your body down. Good, place the weight between your feet. Again, this is optional. This is if you're a little bit more comfortable with your weight, if you have a dumbbell, the dumbbell will go in between your feet. Take a deep inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, lower the arms down by your side and lift your feet up. So you're not going very far, you're squeezing that ball hard. Down for three and up for three. Let's begin. Down, pull up one. And down, pull up two. How are you doing? Down, pull up three, good. Down, four. Girls are working hard. Down, pull up five. Down, and six. Good, make sure that you're pushing your belly button towards your spine. Gripping your, your mat with your spine. Two more, down and up and down and pull up. Bend your knees, hug your knees into your chest for a rest. Place the ball down beside you. Good. Take a deep inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, lower your hands and feet down to the mat. Good, we're gonna do a combination now. We're working your sides or your waist and your lower abdominals. Sweep the arms around your, to your head and lift your upper body. Engage your leg. You're gonna twist in, out, up, and down. Ready, and twist, extend, pull up, down. Good, twist from the waist. You're not using your elbows. And three, and up. Good, nice fluid motion. Four, pull up. The pulse coming from your belly button. You're scooping out your abdominals. Five more, try not to move your chin. Relax your shoulders. If you need to, you can put one arm down on the mat or just rest for a minute. One more. In and out, lower down. Now we're gonna crunch up. Ready and up and lower down. It's not a kick. Think about that legs moving because you're contracting up and lowering down. Up and down, five more. One and two, three, four and five. How'd you do? Hug your knee and lower your body down. Good. Hug both knees into your chest and we're going to go to the other side. Take a deep inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, lower your hands and feet down to the mat. Good. And every time you do this, focus on pushing your, your shoulders down, your triceps are pushing down on the mat, and you're focusing on the heaviness in your abdominals. Good. Sweep your hands around. Lift your body up and extend your other leg. Let's begin. Twist in and out, pull up, down. Twist, extend, and up. Good, now try not to reach with your chin. Up and down. You're engaging your quadriceps and hamstrings as well. Even work on the leg that's pushing down on the mat. And four, and up, and three. Push up, and two, 
and one and hold good lower down little crunches pull up and lower down up and down pull in three you should really feeling this now four and five six keep those elbows quiet seven eight nine and ten good hug that knee hug both knees and lower your body down we're almost there take a deep inhale arms overhead exhale arms all the way down and around extend the legs up scissor walk is next lowering one down and then coming up let's begin down pull up one down two down pull up three good down four you're keeping your legs together heels together toes apart down squeeze up push down pull up four more down pull up one and two and three and four almost there hug your knees Leg circles are next. Deep inhale, arms overhead, and exhale, come around. Extend the legs straight up in the air. <clears throat> so this is like the rond de jambe that we did earlier on your back, only oh, you're using both legs now. Make sure that your legs are making small enough circles that you can control your abdominals. Out, around, and up is first. Ready? Out, pull around, up one. Out, and around. No whipping motion. It's a slow, fluid motion. Think of fluid motion, same as your breath. Out, around, and up. Five more. Out, around, up, out, around. Three more. Out. Let your triceps and shoulders help hold you down on the mat. One more. Beautiful. Hug your knees. This is a nice little rest for you. Stretching out your arms, your lower back. Don't forget, you don't have to go down too far. Take a deep inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, lower the arms down and around. Make sure when you do that, you're readjusting your shoulders and your triceps. Extend the legs straight up in the air. We're gonna go the other way now. And down, pull around, one. Down, around, two. Down, around, three. Don't forget to adjust. Do you want anything to hurt or pop? Just keep adjusting. Do you feel it in your abdominals? Pushing your back down into the mat, you have five more. Down, around, one. Down, around, two. Squeezing those inner thighs, your whole body is working. Try to keep your neck and shoulders relaxed. One more. Beautiful, hug your knees into your chest. You did it. That was great, cross your ankles and roll up. Extend your legs and stretch out. Take a deep inhale, pull up, and exhale. We're gonna do the saw. You can use the weight, the weight is optional. Part your feet slightly and pull your toes back. Arms are out in second position. We're gonna twist the ball towards the toes. Ready, and twist, reach, pull up. Other side, twist, reach, up. You're twisting from the waist. Try not to do a swimming motion, it's a twist. Push out, pull up, other side. Twist, reach, up. Keep those shoulders down. Don't lead with your chin. Twist, reach, up. Twist, reach, you're stretching each time. You have two more. Twist, reach, up, and twist, reach, pull up. Good, toes together, and lower down. Good, let's do a stretch, inhale up. And exhale, go over, up, and exhale, good. Ball again is optional, bend your knees. You're gonna place the ball here or here. We like to hold it out. We're gonna roll down for three, up for three. Ready, and lower down, two, three, pull up, two, three. Shoulders are down and up, good. You wanna roll through your spine and pull up. Try not to pull through your shoulders. Neck is relaxed, chin is in a natural position. You're pointing your toes down, you're squeezing your buttocks hard, and roll 
down and pull up, down and pull up. Three more, pushing down and squeezing to come up. One more, down and pull up. Good, extend the legs, place the ball beside you. Take a deep inhale, arms up, and exhale, go over and stretch. Inhale, pull up, and exhale. Go ahead, bring your knees to the side, and we're going to do the mermaid. Ready? And reach up and over, up and switch, and reach up, switch, and pull over, shoulders are down, up and switch, and reach up, switch and over. You're gonna hold each one coming up and up. Here we go. Reach and hold it for four, three, two, and one. Come up, other side. Reach over and hold for four, three, two, one, and come up, and arm up, and exhale. Let's go to the other side. Shoulders are down. Ready? Reach up and over. Up and switch and go over. Up, switch. Reaching, pushing your hip down to the mat as you lift your ribcage. And switch and over. Up, switch and over. Up. You're going to hold this set. Hold it for four three, two, one, and come up, and switch, and go over for four, three, two, one, come up, up, and release, good, let's stretch, keep one knee in, and one leg is extended out, good, take a deep inhale, arms up, and exhale, reach over and stretch, make sure you're exhaling, melting down into the leg, now flex the foot back towards the head and extend. Back towards the head and extend. Two more. Back and point and back and hold. Good. Reach up, inhale and exhale. Beautiful. You're going to pull that extended leg in towards your chest. Take a deep inhale and exhale, turn. Shoulders are down, chest is lifted, push your hip down into the floor. Good. Turn back center, pull that knee into your chest. Grab onto your heel and let's do a heel stretch. Take a deep inhale and exhale, stretch. Beautiful. Keep those shoulders down. Good. Come in and extend the other leg. We're going to switch on the other side now. Sitting up nice and tall, sitting on your sit bones. Take a deep inhale, pull up. And exhale, reach over. Let it all out. Feel like you're melting into your leg, melting into the floor. Try to walk your fingertips out and reach. Hang your head. Just let it all out. You did great. Flex your foot and point and flex and point. Two more. Flex and point. One more. Flex. Point hold, take a deep inhale, and exhale, good. Pull that knee into your chest and stretching out the other hip. Take a deep inhale, and exhale. This should feel so good in the other hip, pushing it down on the mat. Chest is lifted, you're twisting in your waist. Enjoy that stretch to go a little deeper, exhale into it again. Beautiful, come back center. Grab that heel, take a deep inhale, and exhale, extend. Good. Heels together, take a deep inhale. Exhale, push the chest towards the feet. Don't worry about going down too low. What you're doing is focusing on the stretch of the inner thighs, pushing the knees down. If this is as far as you can go, that's fine, or you can pull your feet out slightly 
is still maintaining a good stretch. Good, and roll up. Bring your feet in. Now when you push up, you're stretching the back of your legs. So push forward. You can do it. Hands beside your feet. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Push the heels into the mat, dropping the head. Make sure you're breathing. You're elongating the back of your legs. You're stretching your back, your shoulders. Relax your neck. Good. You're going to lift your head, bend your knees, part your feet, and slowly roll your body up. Roll your shoulders. Good. Turn your feet out. Take a plie and come up. And exhale. Inhale up and exhale. Two more. Inhale up and exhale. Inhale up and exhale. Hold. Inhale, come up. Cross the leg back and bow. Come back up and close. Thank you for working out with us. We hope you enjoyed it.